Good morning. I think we are live here. Good morning. Hello and welcome back. So I don't know if some of you already saw yesterday's video. Uh, the new product coming out from Akaya is called Iron Beam. Okay, I think I got more information on that this morning, and so I'd like to share that with you. So this device is anti-static, a device that you don't have to do RDTs anymore. Okay, <clears throat> so you don't have to use your water bottle to put you know coffee beans and shake it. Yeah. I, 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 I'm not a big fan of doing RDT, but RDT does work, especially my environment here in Arizona. I'm in uh, Tucson, Arizona. Goodness, it's so dry. Okay, it's really dry here. So, I mean, I got to do at least a little bit of RDT for all my coffee workflow. So, I heard that, uh, so SCA is a specialty coffee associ association. Uh, they do expos every single year and uh, so next week is in Portland okay Portland uh, they are going to introduce new product called Akaya Iron Beam okay so let me show you if you haven't seen it yet okay I think I got the, my thumbnail has a picture on it as well so it looks something like this hold on let me take this it looks just like this right there so this is the iron beam, just like that. And so this is the mount. So that is your Akaya orbit scale. So you can actually mount it directly and then point it. So let me show you another footage of it. <clears throat> okay. So that is, you see that light right there? So that's the iron beam, directly point at that area right there okay so it looks something like that again so so this kind of that look like flashlights okay let's put it out so look like flashlight kind of point at the area uh, pretty much if you're looking at your uh, your grinder or dosing cup point right inside Okay, it's gonna be uh, anti-static. Okay, so you don't have to do no more RDT. Okay, so again, I don't know about you. It's, by the way, how many of you uh, does the RDT every morning? All right. I mean, for me, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a big fan of it. It gets really messy. I know some of you use too much water, sometimes too little. Uh, JD say. Uh, never does the RDT, but kind of like think of it as this uh, kind of like the phaser gun. Point at it. Okay, uh, let's talk about price. And I thought it's gonna be around hundred dollars. I was guessing it. It's gonna be around hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, one fifty. And if you have a Kaya Orbit, you can actually mount it directly. But I mean, most of us we don't have the Akaya Orbit, and then you need to get a stand, all right? You you gotta get a new stand with it. Uh, I believe they are selling the stand as well. So I assume, let's say 20, 30 bucks for the stand. So you're looking about what 150 plus, let's say 20, 30 dollars per span, 180. So safe to say around 200, 200 dollars for the. <coughs> IM beam. Uh, if you are, if anybody watching from Akaya, yeah, let me know. Okay, I mean, uh, I, I'm really curious about the the price of the stand because y I mean, you need to have it. You need the stand, all right? Because it's kind of like gets really annoying if you are going to hold it. If let's say this is the IM beam, you gotta hold it like this. You know, I don't like that. Okay, I don't like it. So hopefully. But you're looking at 200 bucks, $200, let's assume, okay? We know $150 for the iron beam. And then uh, water bottle costs you what? A couple of dollars? So a couple of dollars versus, our, let's say around 150 plus the stand, let's say 200. Is that worth the savings, your time and effort? Uh, let me know okay 
let me know again I'm so this is not for this item is not for regular people all right regular means uh, <clears throat> I mean kind of like most of us out there you know you ju we just want to make quick coffee in the morning I mean who cares about study all right but okay so we have the other segment of population that really into that gadgets all right love the gadgets love the really high-end coffee gear just like scare okay I know most of you have you know cheap scare from Amazon cost about what, 20 bucks 15 20 bucks this is Akaya scale okay from same company around 250 bucks just the scale all right and the Akaya Orbit grinder you're looking at 1400 bucks so if someone's spending that kind of money if someone willing to spend $250 on scale, $1,500 on a grinder, shelling out another $150 on iron beam, I, you know what? I won't be surprised. It's going to be a lot of people out there want that uh, flexibility. Okay, Most likely, those people have multiple grinders. All right. If you if you only have a one grinder, that's fine. Okay, I don't mind doing just you know RDT for only one grinder. But if you have about two, three grinders, hey, now we have something. Okay, instead of RDT for those grinders, just get one of those device. You know, I mean, reduce your static. So yeah, I mean, let me know. Okay, let me know in the comment section. And what do you guys think? I mean, for me. I don't, uh, for me, I have multiple grinders here. I don't like doing RDT, spending money like that, you know, 150, 200 bucks. For me, it's worth it, okay? And they're pretty cool, pretty cool gadgets. If you are into gadgets, hey, I mean, it should be a lot of fun, all right? By the way, if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming, okay? We got some few people on this morning. And then uh, let's see, we got, uh, we got a few people. We got all the best. Uh, so, uh, sounds like someone new. Rain's here. George is here. John, JD is always here. Nicholas is here as well. Linda, yeah, we have all the user suspects. Ali, William's here too. Let's see, who else here? We have Tuggy's here as well. Yeah. Dr. X is also here too. Okay. Hold on. Okay, so here, uh, Dr. X, I, w I, w I would rather get money to increase my grinder budget instead of more maintenance and clutter. Yes. You know, I mean, so that's what happens. Okay, that's what happens when you start getting into coffee gadgets. I mean, this is not a new technology. Okay, if you go to Amazon right now, uh, if you go to Amazon, here, let me show you guys. That is an anti-static gun, okay, ionizing gun, about 150 bucks. So this is not a, a new technology. But uh, new to the coffee community, okay, uh, new to the coffee gear. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad, okay, I'm glad that people are uh, trying to come in, trying to innovate, okay, innovate it, all right. But here... This company needs, needs new products to sell, okay? Because if not, you know what? They're gonna be, like Akaya makes scale, grinder, and also they also they, uh, sell the bean counter as well. This device that is called Orion, o Orion, okay? Uh, they count your beans for you. If you set at 18 gram, the copy beans are in the hopper, press that button, measure out 18 gram at a time. So you don't have to manually weigh your coffee beans. That's great for like fancy coffee shops, okay? Fancy specialty coffee shops. I mean, that looks great, works amazing, thousand bucks. Okay, thousand bucks to count your bean for you. So they're also coming up with a new product called uh, Orion Nano. So the smaller version for your house. I assume it's about six, 700 bucks or so, I assume, okay? So you don't have to measure out your beans anymore. But if you are using multiple beans every single day, it's not, you know, 
it's not feasible. But if you own a specialty coffee shops, uh, someplace really fancy, sure. So, I mean, they need something. Okay, they need something to sell you guys. All right, that's not that's something new. But the coffee industry has been kind of somewhat stagnant for a long time. But but last two three years, it's been blow up. Okay. I mean, that's why you guys see so many different grinders out there, so many even different birds. I mean, goodness, even 64 millimeter is going out of control, okay? So I'm going to be back in about another hour or so. I'm going to be comparing uh, two grinders again, okay? I've done it multiple times, but it's going to be different this time. Uh, I'm going to be comparing P64 right there. That's about $2,000 grinder. And I'm going to compare that with DF64V, all right? This is kind of like a wannabe uh, P64. Uh, looks similar, uh, very identical. So DF64V is kind of like inspired by uh, P64, let's put it that way, for a fraction of the cost. And so I'm going to be comparing that both. The interesting part is I just installed uh, MP burst here, uh, multi-purpose from SSP on DF64V. And the P64, I put uh, their latest burr from Optional. It's called Meisen burr. Okay. So Meisen versus MP, but again, they both grinder have uh, RPM control as well. So I'm going to have, hopefully I'm going to have someone do the blind taste for us. Okay, uh, I'm not looking for something better. Okay, I want to know how much difference. Okay, so let's find out. It should be a lot of fun. Okay, so we're gonna do that in about within the next hour, hour and a half. Okay, so I'll be back. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, and I'm gonna see you guys soon.